Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new to my channel. I am Shelly, and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And if you want to check out any of my stores or my Instagram, it's all under Shelbo Posh. Um, I will also have those linked down below for you. And today I'm at Savers, so I'm going to go in there, hopefully get some thrift footage, and we can see what we can find together. And I do have, I did do some donations of some stuff. Um, to get rid of and so I did get 20% off coupons so we're gonna use that and we're gonna see what we can find starting off in the shoe section um, I did see this pair of new tag fry and co little sandals but they were priced a little bit higher and fry and co is actually a diffusion line for fry um, that is sold at JCPenney so I did pass on those um, maybe at the bins if they were new tag I would have grabbed them because um, I probably could only maybe sell them for like 25 ish um, this pair of Tevas was a little bit too worn for me, but that is a brand that I sell pretty consistently, so I do like to pick it up, especially at the bins. And I am just checking out like all of the sandal section since it is that time of year. Um, I did see this pair of Sam Edelman little sandals. They did not have a price on them, but um, they weren't a pair I was going to pick up anyway, so I didn't inquire about a price or anything like that. And then next we are going to go and look through some of the jeans um there is a lot of like mall brand jeans here and tons of american eagle um and i do like picking up american eagle newer styles at the bins but just with the prices that they have here at savers it's a little bit higher so i do not pick up um, american eagle here but um if they had other good styles of uh, like Abercrombie and Fitch I would pay up a little bit more for because Abercrombie and Fitch usually does pretty well for me here's a pair of Everlane jeans but they priced them um, at $13.50 and Everlane jeans I'm really only picking up at the bins again and it has to be a decent style I won't pick up like a skinny jean Everlane um, pair of jeans at the bins if they're not a decent style so yeah lots of just like mall brand and stuff which is okay but just for the prices that they have them at, it's a little bit too high to pay up um, over like $10 for PacSun or Zara jeans or anything like that. So I do end up finding a single pair of jeans though, and you're going to see those here in this clip. I did find this pair of jeans that are like a cute pleated front from Madewell, so these I did grab, and you will see those in the haul. But now I'm going to show you a few items I actually left behind. First up is this Tory Burch dress, and it wasn't priced horribly, but I just didn't really love the style. Um, a little bit darker, and I also feel like with the season, it's not super a like seasonally appropriate dress. I did find two pairs of these platform like rubber mules from Jeffrey Campbell. They were both priced at ten dollars, um, and I looked them up, and they retail for sixty dollars. So I just didn't feel like the profit margin was as good on those so I did leave those behind and then this pair of Ibex pants just had a lot of wear so I did leave those behind as well. I am back with my haul from Savers. I'm pretty happy with what I found. I was there for about two hours and I definitely did not go through the whole store. Um, I actually went after I went to the Goodwill outlet so I was already kind of um, not thrifted out but just like a little bit tired already so I didn't want to spend a crazy amount of time in there but I definitely could have um, spent some more time gone through a few more sections but i'm very happy with what i found actually um so yeah i'm gonna show you what i found so first um this brand is a new to me brand for selling i actually have heard of it before um from instagram i saw it before someone was talking about it they were like sponsored by them or something um the brand is new me and it is a um, technical underlayer um and so yeah but basically these are like undershirts and they are reinforced under the armpit. So just for like sweating and stuff. So it's not going to show through to your shirt that is over top. So new tags, size medium, and I believe it's reversible. Um, so you can have this like kind of more of a scoop V-neck or this little bit of a um, V-neck as well. So I grabbed this. And there's actually two right next to each other, both new tags, both a medium. So I grabbed both of those and I'm hoping for um, at least like 35, 40 for them. Um, I saw some for a little bit higher than that. They retail for 72. So 
yeah, I grabbed those. I do have one maybe fail unless I can fix it that I did not see in store. So I have this brand I like selling. It's um, Zadig and Voltaire. And I have the tag on still because I don't know if I'm going to return it or what. Um, it was $6.49 and I did have a 20% off coupon um, for everything that I'm going to show you. But there is a few marks on here. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, and then as well as on the back um, that I did not see in store. I did try to look it over, but um, the lighting's not always the best in um, stores and stuff. But so sadly, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but it has a bedazzled love on here. And I have sold a couple of these shirts and they've done well for me in the past. So I was excited to find this and pick it up. And I don't know what size this is, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to return it. Oh, and the tag is cut out. So I'm guessing like a small, maybe a medium, but I do have, um, have had these in my closet so I can always measure, compare measurements to those ones. But yeah, so we'll see. Like I said, we'll see on that one. Um, and then next I was very excited to find this. I've not found this brand in a bit and it has done well for me. So this dress is so gorgeous. It has these like long kind of flutter sleeves and these two separate ties here on the neckline, um, midi or mini length, I would say. And it is, um, has like this ruffle here at the bottom. And this is the brand Emerson Fry, um, size extra small, small, the India collection. And this brand is um, pretty um, expensive and I have sold some pieces for a good amount from this brand. So I was excited to find this. This is a block printed dress. So it does say it can be a little bit um, varied on the print, but yeah, gorgeous piece. So I have not looked up comps for this exact piece, but beautiful, beautiful piece. I have sold a pair of pants from this brand kind of recently, probably like six months ago is the last time I found it. Um, and they sold for almost a hundred. So we'll see on that one. Next, I found this little Madewell blouse and I really liked the textured um, fabric on here as well as like the fit of this shirt. And it is newer because um, I know I remember seeing it like pretty recently um, on the Madewell website. Unfortunately, they did take out the interior tag, um, but I should be able to find it pretty easily. And this was marked pretty low, um, size medium. So I decided to grab this because I like the style and the color and everything. And so, yeah. And then next, this was marked super low. It was only marked at $250. And then with my discount, I mean, that's like Ben's prices basically. So this is We The Free, size small. And this is a puff sleeve little blouse. So yeah, cute puff sleeves. It has like this lower um, V back here. I don't know if it's reversible. The tag does like show up on the back. So you probably wouldn't want to do it. Um, reversible but very cute style and at the bins for that price that would have been bins pricing and I would have picked this up there so that's why I decided to grab it um, at Savers. Um, if it was more if it was like five or more than that I would not have picked it up. Next this is a super interesting piece I'm thinking this might be um, a Lululemon lab piece so this is this high neck little tank top and then here's the back I thought it was reversible at first because it is the interior is blue, but it's not. Um, it does have kind of a built-in shelf bra on here. And there's like a couple, like this sticker strap and this like little string strap here. Um, and here is the Lululemon logo. It's on the inside, which is why I'm thinking it's Lululemon Lab. Um, those pieces retail for a little bit more. They're a little bit more um, like not so much like active wear they kind of are more street style based um so i'm thinking this might be a little lab piece but we will see unfortunately it does not have a size or anything and the built-in like bra does not have um, bra cups or like padding um a place for padding so there's no like size dot that i can find or anything so we're gonna see on this piece but it wasn't marked horribly i think it was like nine dollars um and i wanted to try it out for that so I did grab that. Next, I found this cute little dress. This is Lily Plitzer, size small, and it has the little bamboo 
zipper on it and this is a zip up or like half zip dress and long sleeves this is great for like um vacation i feel like over the like after the beach or the pool or something it says xx lily here and i just thought this was a very cute style it was in really nice condition so that is why i grabbed it and it does have some pockets here as well and then i also grabbed this blouse this is 100 percent linen again lily plitzer size extra small so yeah 100 percent linen and definitely just more of a basic um top um, it does have like a v-neck here a little pocket but since it was linen and this was also marked pretty low i think it was 350 so again um a not super high price for it um and i know i can sell it for like 20 ish so um that is why i grabbed this but um yeah i do have to be picky with like um traditional stores thrift stores just because they are usually priced a little bit higher um, so you do have to make sure that you are checking your comps and things like that. Um, and then next, I grabbed this pair of jeans. This is like the only pair of jeans that I even thought about grabbing. There was a, quite a bit of Madewell, but they were all like 23, 24 waist. Um, and they were all skinny jeans, so I did not grab any of those. But this is Madewell. And these are the baggy straight jean, size 31. And they have a cute front pleat on here and nice like mid darker wash baggy kind of wider leg so i grabbed these good size and they are definitely a lot newer they actually don't even have the date in them anymore which i know they're doing now because i actually have a few um recent pieces from madewell and they don't have dates in them anymore but they just still have the style number so i grabbed those and then last clothing piece i grabbed this dress and i saw it um hanging on the dress section and i did go through almost all of the dresses um and i thought this was either going to be something good or so or like shein and it ended up being something pretty good so this is for love and lemons and i have done pretty good with this brand but i don't know how it does as much anymore um, but it is brand new with tags it does have the extra button in here and yeah this is just a ruched kind of dress with long sleeves lace and these really gorgeous button little cuffs um and yeah new with tags and this was actually marked up a little bit it was at 15 dollars um but i actually had my 20 percent off coupon from doing a donation and then i also had a um 50 off coupon via my email for one item up to ten dollars um so I was able to get five dollars off of this um that was the max discount you could get for an item um it was five dollars basically 50 percent off ten dollars so yeah five dollars so i was able to get um this for ten dollars and which was more than i would have paid or less than i would have paid with the 20 percent. so because 20 percent i would have only got um three dollars off and does have a little button here a kind of a lower exposed back so yeah this is this piece kind of a fun piece we'll see how that does i did do a quick comp search and some people had them listed, listed pretty high but i did see a few sold for like 170 um stuff like that so i did decide to grab that and then our last piece is a pair of shoes and these i just thought were beautiful they are from sam edelman and they are size nine and a half they are this beautiful sparkly pointed toe kitten heel sling back and this is the um style lewd low so yeah nine and a half and i actually almost grabbed or i almost bought this pair of shoes from sam edelman but in the all white for my wedding um so i just feel like these are great for bride shoes um any bridal occasions and stuff and they're in really nice condition i mean they probably were only worn like once um, which probably it was for like a bride or something. So I decided to grab these because I know when I was looking for shoes, I couldn't really find much of anything that I wanted secondhand. So I ended up grabbing a pair, um, just off the, of a website from Betsy Johnson. I will insert a little photo of the ones I had, um, very similar style, but I ended up grabbing a white pearl style. But yeah, so I just thought, um, knowing I was just looking for bridal stuff, 
Um, I think these are gorgeous and I think that another bride would love them. So I did decide to grab those. Like I said, excellent condition. I think those were like $9.50. So not horrible. Um, and I haven't been finding shoes as much very often um, at the bins or even regular thrift stores. So I'm happy to find another pair of shoes um, because my shoe rack is pretty bare. So yeah, that is this whole haul. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of the thrift with me footage as well as seeing a few of the items I ended up passing on. Um, and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I post a lot of thrift with me's, what solds, um, thrift hauls, bins hauls, and things like that. And you can also click the little bell notification if you would like to be notified whenever I do a post, which is um, usually twice a week. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.